All right, here we go, guys. And yeah, it's December, it's the holiday season. And while friends of mine like Skinner are doing videos that go into great detail, scientific detail about gulp and how it disperses, I instead am gonna do a really stupid holiday gift guide video uh, showcasing five Christmas holiday gifts for the boating and fishing enthusiast. And I researched a bunch of websites. I went on Amazon's top fishing gifts, boating gifts, researched the whole truth, the boating website. And I came up with five things that you can readily order. You can get them in time for Christmas if you order them now. And uh, I'm gonna review them and rank them from five to one. And without further ado, let's start with number five, which I have in my back pocket. Let's pull it out. It's right here. It is the Octum Electric Fishing Lure. Um, we'll bring this close to the camera. You can see right there. Uh, it's a double treble hooked fishing lure, bobber, um, and a connector to plug it into a USB to make this thing come alive. We'll show a quick video right now of it in action because I did not get to use this. All right, and you saw that uh, that demonstration in a in a bait tank. Here's the thing itself. Feels well made. It looks like it'll swim nice. The the treble hooks themselves are sharp. Uh, Twenty six bucks, and honestly, did not come with directions. That's one of the things. If you look at their website, uh, some of the folks complain that it did not come with directions. And for the style of fishing we do, um, saltwater fishing, I'm not sure how well this would work. Uh, it, that's why I have it ranked last, fifth. Um, but it's a very interesting thing. I think this would work well in a, in a freshwater environment, in a lake, uh, or, or even in the saltwater. I'm thinking you could have this floating behind you as your bottom fish in case anything is up on top. I would just make sure I have a lot of good leader. I would probably change out these treble hooks for, for some VMCs or something a little more substantial than this. They're a little thin. Um, but yeah, out of the, the five products, this is the product that I like the least. Okay, back with product number four. What looks like a pen and a little spinning reel. And uh, we'll, we'll go to the Amazon page right now and just quickly look at what this is exactly. And what this is exactly is a Lixada one meter, so a little over three feet, pen style fishing pole. That cap comes off, you attach the reel and bam, presto, you have a portable little fishing pole. I did get to use that. We'll show a clip of that in action. But right now, let's go back to the live action video and get my thoughts on it. And we're back, and yeah, it's exactly as described. This pen cap comes off, put it in our pocket. This opens up. And boom, you can use this. A uh, reel goes right in here. And I actually did wind up using it my last charter of the year. I dropped it down for Blackfish, and we'll show a quick clip of that here. So Dean, if we catch a big one on this, I might need your help. <laughs> What's that? This is a pen rod. Literally, it's it's a like a ballpoint pen that you take the cap off and it expands and you add a little reel to it. Ooh. I got hit right away. Uh oh. Yeah. Second time I dropped with this thing, and both times. It's not big. Whew. Yeah, it probably is a good thing. Better than the first one I caught. We're back. What do I think about this one? It's number four. Actually, I think this is fairly usable. It's a nice stock stocking stuffer. It does not take up a lot of space. Obviously, if you're going to go fishing, you're going to bring a real rod with you. But let's say you're traveling. Let's say maybe you, you work in an office complex and there's a lake back there. The, this is not the worst thing because it's so compact. It's it's it, You can really tuck it out of the way. Um, 
it's not the worst thing. And and as I showed in that video, it does a good job. It's, there's three ball bearings in this. Um, this is pretty sturdy. It also, you know, had a, a little bit of sensitivity. I could feel the bites. Not the worst thing in the world. And it's very compact. I mean, look, you could stick this in your pocket. No one would even know. Again, would not be my first choice, second choice, third choice. But if you're traveling, if you want to just have it in your office, I don't know, in your car, in your glove box, you pass a dock, a, a pier where you can drop this down. It's not the worst idea. And I'm back with number three. And number three is right in my side pocket. You know, when I was younger, I will admit, uh, flip phone days, I did have one of those stupid holsters where you stuck your, your, your cell phone, your flip phone in, easily to pull it out. And on a boat where a, a lot of boats have a dearth of cup holders. Not my boat. I, I, I got a million cup holders, but that's only because the guys I bought it from used it as a sandbar boat. But on a lot of boats... You're often struggling to find a spot to put your drink. A beer cup holder or a soda cup holder, a water cup holder, easy in and out, very cheap. We'll take a quick look at the Amazon page here, and you can see it's really affordable. And we're back. It works with cans too. I will say with cans, it's not quite as easy to get it in and out. Definitely better with bottles, bottles that goes right in. Let's go to number two. All right, we're back. And number two, and if you saw the, uh, you know, the thumbnail, it, I was wearing this ridiculous umbrella on my head. And that's going to be number two. And the reason I have it so high is because I've been caught out uh, in a pouring rain while we're fishing. I can't tell you how many times. And it sucks. And you got your rain gear on and, you know, you, maybe you're not getting that wet. But nobody wants buckets of rain falling on their head. And I got to tell you, this thing, I have it right here, is, is super easy to use. We're going to take our hat off. We're going to just pop it on. Real easy to use. It has an adjustable strap. I have a huge head. It fits me. It'll fit anybody else. You tighten the strap. It's not that uncomfortable. And you can go ahead and fish. And I know it looks ridiculous, but I am going to keep this on my boat. And I'm going to, as ridiculous as it looks, I will use this on days where it's pouring and I want to be out under the T-top fishing. Only 18 bucks. A company called VI Fishing makes it. Not a bad gift for a fisherman, a stocking stuffer. Um, and again, as ridiculous as it looks, it's, it, it will work while you're fishing in the rain. All right, and we're back with number one, a five-gallon huck bucket. And it came in this uh, really nice big bag. I got a cozy. I got a personalized uh, card from the owner of the company. Very nice. Uh, thank you for your package. Enjoy, Joe Schneider. Um, when I ordered this, Joe Schneider actually called me and gave me the full rundown of what's involved in making this bucket. And we're going to go over why this is going to be a controversial choice as the first pick. Right after we watch this video, this is their promotional video going over all, going over all the benefits of this bucket. We started Huck Performance Buckets LLC with the need to take an incredibly useful product and build it out of extremely good materials with a focus on craftsmanship. SpryTech is the material that we built the bucket out of and it's a performance blend of impact modified polymers which is uh, an actual flexible platform that allows the bucket to handle all the beating that five gallon buckets typically take. We put a 1 8 inch radius on the bottom of the bucket to protect the bottom. We partnered with Vibram which is a global footwear company based out of Italy to build the non-skid feet, the same material that they use for the boots and shoes for the US military. We have uh, side handles on the bucket that physically stop one bucket from vapor locking into another one and we call them spaghetti pot handles because it's another way to manipulate and control the bucket. The feet on the bottom, a lot of people don't realize you grab the base of the bucket as often as you grab the handle and we actually built finger indents into them that help you control the action of the bucket. The tread pattern of the non-skid feet was developed after the shell of an alligator snapping turtle. If you're pouring and your hand starts to slip off, these treads are angled so it actually digs into your fingers if your hand's slipping off the base of the bucket. 
they're non-marking on your boat deck and they also stick up three-eighths of an inch past the base of the bucket so it'll allow you to spray underneath get all the soap off the deck of the boat without moving the bucket itself we focused on handle strength and not having it pull out which is a big problem that plagues five gallon buckets we put finger indents into it and it rests comfortably over the meat of your fingers because sometimes your hand gives out before your arm with a typical five gallon bucket we put a 3 8 inch flange on the outside and the inside of the bucket which prevents the handle from pulling out and we use high quality stainless steel hardware with respect to a flange nut on the outside and a machine screw on the inside so it's not going to uh, pull out as it's a through bolt system. The label is actually a 10 year label. It's uh, covered with an 8 mil polycarbonate and it's built to last down to negative 45 and up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and lasts for 10 years. And one of the things we paid attention to is the weight of these things. So we did everything we did to this bucket and we're right at 3.2 pounds. We put a lot of thought and science into what goes into a Huck Performance Buckets. We build it out of the best materials on the market and the quality and craftsmanship is second to none. Do yourself a favor, get yourself a Huck Performance Bucket. This is a Huck Performance Bucket. Think of it as a five gallon bucket on steroids. It's made of Sprite Tech, an all weather blend of performance polymers and features grip and feet by Vibram. How tough is Huck? We filled one with water and dropped it from two stories on. Then we dropped a concrete block onto Huck and hung over 600 pounds of rocks from a Huck, all without failure. And all to prove there's no bucket like a Huck bucket. We guarantee it. Huck, made super strong to last super long. All right, I'm back. And uh, here's the bucket. And everything said on that promotional video is true. This is really well constructed. Um, these grips are really nice, especially the one under here where you can actually get a nice, it's not that difficult to get a grip on it. You're not gonna worry about losing it overboard if you're, if you're throwing water out or you're cleaning the boat and you wanna throw some water over the deck. It, it's awesomely made. The downside, $119 for this. To put it in comparison, Home Depot sells their, their ubiquitous orange five-gallon buckets for five bucks, actually a little less than five. Um, and we'll, we'll show a quick shot here of their website. I mean, you can get over 20 buckets for the price of this one. So why is this number one considering the price? Well, hey, there's so many tools fishermen and boaters use where there's a giant price disparity between the best of the best and just something that gets the job done. Think about pliers, right? You can... You can get a pair of pliers on Amazon, fishing pliers for 12 bucks, 15 bucks, and they'll work. Or you can spend hundreds of dollars and get a pair of Van Stall pliers. And some people prefer that. And it's the same thing with these Huck buckets. If, if you want a couple buckets on the boat and you, you don't want them sliding around and, and you want some of these features, why not? And I, I get it, I'm gonna catch a lot of heat for this but this is an awesome bucket. Um, it, w I think worth it, but uh, again, I, I understand why people would rather buy 10 $5 buckets and you know go through them than buy one of these $119 buckets. But again, think about all the gear we use and the price disparity between the bottom of the heap and the top of the heap, and I think the same thing translates to these Huck buckets. Um, let me know what you thought of these uh, gift ideas. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing and wishing everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.